Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm testing this guy. This is the Auto Purple Wind. This is the smallest size, I think 500. And I'm fishing with it on the creek because it cost me less than 5 euros. I think even the normal price is like 6 or 7. And I'm trying to catch something. <coughs> I've just started a big ass otter when I enter the creek a little bit upper and now I'm trying to not encounter it again because it frightened me it was big AF but I think it just startled all the fish <coughs> even down the creek because when I went in there were a lot of fish in and now I cannot see any of them only a couple of small ones remained. I'll be going down. But a couple of casts that I made with the with the reel, I have it with the Mifi Nano Jig. This is a 0.3 presentation. It's the smallest uh, tungsten bead that I ha have. It's on the Super Continental, and I even have to cut a little bit of the supercontinent plastic because I like to put the hook through the middle and oh it's dodgy in here today I think a bit higher and it's full of leaves I cannot see the bottom <coughs> lot of small fish it's very very early in the morning <coughs> close to 7 a.m even though the best time of the day to come and fish it's the afternoon i don't have that luxury so morning it is <coughs> so let's try to get something I think I bit more than I can chew because this is very very high let's hope I don't uh, because I have batteries charging on my backpack I have my car keys on my pocket. Ooh, first pocket. Best. Also, I found a spot in here with grass where I think we might have bass or at least catchable bass, but I will not be going there today because I have 0.3 um, fluoro in here and there is a place where I cannot wave so I need more rods and I need tighter lines so I can pull fish in I think I'll need to go to the main river to catch something there was a bite in here let's try to work on that Oh, more bites, probably very, very small fish, 
Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Jesus. So, this is the most attacks that I have in here. You see, you see them moving over the lure when it falls. Again, strike. These are very, very small fish. Right again. 15 minutes later. How can <clears throat> in more than 20 bites I didn't catch anything? And I'm fishing with a size 16 or 14 nymph hook. Discounts. Right on the reef ref over there. Thanks, buddy. So now that we are discounts. Let's try to get some more. Jeez, oh, that water is warm. Yes. And when I say warm, really, really warm. So the water is cold here on the afternoon because they just discharge new water. Ooh, nice top water there. <laughs> Small one coming. I'm fishing very, 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 very shallow. Oh, did you see the attack over there? They are crazy. Mm, not seeing fish over there. of bites yes oh feisty man the fish is warm So two for the purple wind. Man, this rod, I know I'm not using for its original purpose, but for this, it's pretty fun and pretty accurate on the casting, even with the lower weights and you don't have the, the butt section annoying you. Whoa. This one was unexpected. Jeez. This this plastic has taken a beating. It's all chewed up. And I only but if I count, even if I count it, it's three fish with it. Then it's going to tail end. I will just change my plastic. See you guys in a bit. Just swap for bubble gum. Pink. 
because it's still a bit of low light conditions. But let's see if I get the same response that I had with a more reddish color. Jesus, there's no fish in here. Yep. I know if it's low oxygen condition, then they need to be closer to that waterfall. Either way, no fish there. Ooh. Yes! Finally! One of these douchebags over here. So. I was thinking, what, when will I catch. Yeah, nice combo underwater. When will I catch another of these guys? I was thinking when I would get another sunfish in here. They fight so much more for their size than the even juvenile chub. But you have to go on snaggy places to catch them usually unless they are really really hungry and they will come after your lure so you have to chuck your lure near there or be fishing like a f with a float with maggots where they have the time to get closer and closer and closer and closer But in here for sunfish, usually there, under the trees, in the middle of the branches. And even then you have to be lucky because they will just lift your lure, play with it. They are very good at avoiding the, the hook. So folks, this is the end of the session. Today I was testing the auto purple lure and I have to say for less than 5 euros I cannot really complain. This I think it's in the unboxing I weighed it at less than 150 grams and the only thing you have to bear in mind again it costs less than 5 euros for me so maybe 5 dollars for you you have a, a little bit of sloppiness on the knob the arm if you tighten enough it's not that bad and you have a bit of play as you have on i think the shimano sienna and the fx on the anti-reverse other than that it works perfectly fine and i'm very satisfied that i could find a reel that works the drag also works the line lay is not the best but again we return to the price, 5 euros. Another thing that I really like about this wheel if, is if you are into ultralight or super ultralight. I know that this is not the cheapest, also it's not the most expensive rod. This is the Mifi Nano Jig. I was able to make great casts with this. So, very very small jig head and I had no problems dealing with it. Other than that, I'm very very satisfied. And I think we'll be seeing a little bit more of this reel. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!